Welcome to Tinker Mill Wood Shop. I'm Jeff Moore, one of the uh, shop captains, and today I'm going to go through ch uh, how to empty out the dust collection uh, can. So the for the uh, cyclone separator is connected to our dust collection system, and it um, pushes most of the material down into the can. It separates out the airstream, and then whatever fine dust gets carried over and is filtered out in the filters. Uh, so it's pretty simple and what we want to, want to do is lift up on the lid and then just slide it out and then uh, take it outside and, and dump it in the dumpster and then bring the can back in and before you uh, actually put it back it's a good idea to help keep the shop clean by sweeping up and just avoid the accumulation of extra dust so obviously this hasn't been done for a while I'll sweep it up this is something that we really need help with one of the hardest things in a wood shop to deal with is all the extra dust that gets accumulated. Only takes a few seconds. So the thing to remember with this is that the can this handle faces out. That's all there is to it. You want to make sure that that red light, the red LED is lit and solid. That means that the, the, uh, there's a connection on the uh, detectors for the full level sensors. So if I were to actually get into a full can situation, I'll turn this on. And simulate a full can the red LED is flashing it means you need to de to empty the can you do need to turn off the dust collector before pulling the can out from underneath the cyclone. If you don't do that, the dust collector will start up again. So here again, you go and empty the can, put the can back in place. Make sure the handle's facing forward, that you have a solid red light, and you're ready to go again. Turn on the dust collector and you're back in business. If there's any questions on this, it'll be covered in your checkoff for your one-on-one class. I want to thank you all for listening and have a great day. So you go to clean out the shop vac. What you need to do is remove the top. By, there's two levers here, and, it, and the, the top unit comes off by itself. Um, this one's actually pretty clean this time. So normally you would uh, wiggle this filter off. There's no uh, other fastener, and then it just slides on the post. Now I take it out to the trash. Gently tap the dust out of the pleats and then take an air compressor and blow out the dust. And of course, if this container is full or half full, you mu you, you'll need to empty that too. So you just slide the filter back on and you 
reinstall the motor assembly and you make sure it's ready to go, to go for the next user. I want you to notice the cord wrap. This is how you need to leave the machine. This lever here rotates so you can pull all the cord off in one, one fell swoop and you rotate this back down and then you wrap the cord back up. This keeps things nice and neat and uh, leaves it for the next person rather than having a tangled bit up mess. So please be considerate of others and use the tools properly. There you go. Thank you.